I love crossing my eyes like this. Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon White version. Last time, we saw the final sight, sounds, and smells of Castelia City, and then had a quick run in with Team Plasma that prevented us from challenging the gym right away. What were the odds? And thanks, Sharon, for running off one second before we could have really used your help, but no thanks to you, we were able to take down Team Plasma, get back Bianca's precious Pokemon, and meet some fun new faces along the way. We sure showed you, even though you had no way of actually seeing or knowing about it. We were just so good at showing you, we were bad at showing you. Anyway, this time, we are taking on Castelia Gym. There's nothing left to do, and uh, excuse me. What do you think of Castelia City? I bet with all the bustling people, you started feeling worn down on your way to the gym. Never mind, this will help. Take it. We gotta start talking to them if we want our free fresh water now. They're trying to save on money by capitalizing on the antisocial community. The theme of this gym is walking through walls. At first glance, these funny honey walls may look impassable or even impossible. If you try hard, it'll work out, so I say. But if it doesn't, here's a sweet tip. Step on the switches on the floor. This gym is really weird. I guess it fits with Berg being an artist and all. He is rather quirky. You can't pass these if you touch the sides of them. If you try going through the middle, if you don't hold down long enough, then you won't go through. You just gotta plop your way right through the wall, and there you go. By stepping on these switches, you light the lamps that are closest to them, and when two lamps are lit on either side of a gate, it will cause the gate to open. If I'm not mistaken, all of the trainers in this gym are mandatory yet again, which I like because I like fighting all of the trainers anyway. I really don't like skipping out of trainers if you can possibly miss them, as they will not battle you after the gym leader falls. Battles in Castilia Gym are beautiful! They are pure art! I can think of a certain person in a region far, far away that would be happy to hear you say such a thing about Pokemon battles, and for whatever reason, Berg has surrounded himself entirely by clowns. I guess clowns are a popular thing to paint, especially sad clowns. I hope he doesn't abuse them in the workplace, because that would be kind of bad, but Maybe he could get away with it, calling it inspiration for his creative work. I don't know. A lot of shady things are protected under creative work, uh, various laws protecting them. Uh, I'm not expecting Terabyte to really do much in this gym. We're going to be fighting a lot of the Sawaddle family, and at this level, by all accounts, they should already know Razor Leaf, so I'm not really all that confident. I just decided to start with him and... Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Yeah, that's... Oh! That's not bad. Take your Moxie boost. And take your level up. <laughs> Suddenly glad that I started with you. Critical would have instantly done you in even at full health, so I gotta really watch out for that. Venipede, you take normal damage from Sand Tomb. I think I'm gonna lay that down. Good thing I didn't switch right there. Oh, maybe it didn't even matter after all. I took like three damage from it. <laughs> and okay, so you're just gonna take a little bit from that. I'm sure that I can two-shot you. Maybe I'll go for Bite. You could have Poison Point, but if the battle's about to end anyway... Good, good, good. Okay, so you can handle Venipedes, no problem. Sawaddles are what I gotta watch out for, and unfortunately, I don't really have that good of a switch in. There's one thing I don't like about Moxie, it's that you pointlessly have a few seconds of your time wasted at the end of every battle by it when you don't need to see that it raised because the battle's over. <laughs> Failing beautifully, it is also a work of art. Getting a little too into the fact that you lost a battle right there, buddy. I, it's good to learn from your losses, but sheesh. If you step on two switches, two lamps will light up and a gate will open. This is also an art. Yes, two shining symmetrical lights is art. It's subjective after all, you can say anything's art. Maybe that's how this gym gets its tax deductions, though I don't understand the choice of having honey that could seep into a canvas right there on the wall? Uh, I don't know. Not really feeling that choice. I need to organize my items. You can press the start button, and your items will be automatically sorted. I know, I've known that I could do this for a long time. I've just had a lot of people yelling at me like, uh, oh, you need to sort your items. It's driving me nuts that you're not doing it. Why aren't you doing it? Well, there, I just did. I just didn't think that they were quite messy enough to do that until fairly recently. I think I saw the Lillipap had an item for us. Let's check out what that is. Yes. Potion. Maybe I should have just got that first and used my two potions on it. I'm not really sure, but regardless, I healed quickly. Oh. Well, that shoots down my theory that the gym trainers are all mandatory. In that battle, Ottawa grew to level 25 and tried to learn Water Pulse. 
far, far better than Water Gun. Compared to 40 power, it's 60 power and has a chance of confusing the target. Yes, I want to learn that right away. Took care of that, no problem. Came out much stronger than we did before. I went back to the Pokemon Center to heal because... Well, let's just say Ottawa grew that level because a certain someone couldn't handle it. It's like I thought it would be the case. Gotta really watch out for those uh, Sawaddles. And here we have gates that are hiding more switches behind them on either side in order to open that other main gate right there. In this gateception, we shall step on this. Activating that light. And this gym puzzle is so weird. This is one of the first things that they ever showed off in trailers. And I remember that because the video compression, it looked like the trainer walked through that stretchy honey wall and then came out looking like something else. So it looked like the honey shapeshifted them into like some other being, or maybe like it changed their clothes or something like that. I remember it being one of the most bizarre things that we had seen about this game. And everyone was just like, what? Like honey walls stretching them out and changing shape. It was one of the weirdest cases of just misinformation before of a game's release and all because of video compression. I guess it's kind of something that people using uh, YouTube nowadays wouldn't really know about. That's totally going to be a trainer. Yep. Yeah! Thank you for going out of your trouble to call me out. I'll channel my gratitude into my Pokemon's moves and make sure it gets to you. I was defeated by your strong spirit. I could not read the... Re I really do not like that. I don't get that. I get that this battle system is lightning fast, but that's been a problem for so long where the text automatically scrolls. I'm not pressing any buttons during that, but it scrolls so fast that I can't even read it. I'll be the first to admit I'm a slow reader. Maybe you guys don't have a problem with it whatsoever. I am a slow reader. I will fully admit that. I've always kind of not been so into reading books because with how long it takes for me to make any progress, I tend to zone out or my eyes start to hurt or something like that. It's been a problem I've always had, but just it's so bad how fast that deck scrolls half the time I don't even know what they're saying and I have to look at it and post I wasn't doing this I'd never know what they said what do you think this Pokemon gym how should I say isn't it full of outrageous and mysterious charms yeah, if that's what you want to call it <laughs> I don't know I can't stand it whenever I have sticky things on my body having to go through a gym like this I think honestly the hardships of battle would be nothing compared to my skin feeling all sticky and knowing that I was covered in sticky stuff that was soaked into my clothing Especially my shoes, just, ugh, I, I can't stand having any kind of liquid in my shoes. It's, ugh, it's so awful. I mean, I, I guess everyone technically has liquid in their shoes just from, well, wearing shoes and them being the way that they are, but I will not be gross and continue on that tangent whatsoever. We'll just continue with things. And at least we're opening with a Venipede, so I can probably handle this no problem. Your Sand Tomb isn't really hitting for much. You can have Poison Point, but let's, uh, let's try the... Okay, fine, we won't try the Bites. <laughs> Thanks for allowing the Sand Tomb to soften you up a little bit more, so I'm more certain that we can get the KO. And barely not. Ooh. Or barely yes. Man, Sand Tomb's been coming through for me. So much of me pointing and laughing at it like it's a weak move. It's definitely no incinerate. I'll give it that. Level 22, and we're trying to learn Embargo, which makes it so that your opponent has to wait until a certain date to talk about games, right? Okay, no. Um, what might seem like a stupid joke is kind of a true story. All right, so... The first time I'd ever heard of the word embargo was this Pokemon move, and when I first heard about review embargoes from a friend, they were like, oh, don't put too much stock in that review because it's before the embargo. I was like, oh, if you're reviewing a game, you're not allowed to use items in it? That sounds hard. And he's just, he called me an idiot, and yeah, I felt kind of stupid, but dumb story, but it kind of taught you how the move works. So Waddle. Time has come. We will see if the Moxie is Moxie enough to handle you. String shot. Please use tackle or something stupid this turn. I don't know if I can take a razor leaf from you. Bite. Oh, I outspeed you anyway. Cool. Well, critical hit pointlessly. That was a pretty good fight, I have to say. You're doing, you're doing better than I thought you would. As a trainer, you are full of charm. Glad to know you think so. A lot of kids just kind of called me weird, but I guess maybe I can refer to that as charm. Step on this final switch, and the fabulous purple velvet staircase leads up to who else but do you think? I've gone back, I've healed, and I've made a few preparations. I've also picked up a few items along the way. Let's get those out of the way first. Potion. Let me guess. Escape rope. Oh, no, potion. Really mixing things up there, giving me two potions instead of just one. 
You guys suck. Come on, pick up the pace a little bit. Pick up those little dog pawsies that you have on your little nubs that you call legs. I guess maybe it's my fault for not leveling up Lillipap four more levels to get at better items, but I don't think it's that big a deal. It's still free items, no less, and they're not unusable. As for our preparations, I don't think that our TMs are going to help us whatsoever, so all I did was just change some hold items around. I gave the Quick Claw to Terabyte purely because the experience share wasn't giving him any benefit in this battle. I think he's going to be the least helpful, but maybe he'll get in a little bit of extra damage if he gets lucky. I've kept everything about Ottawa exactly the same. Mystic Water, nothing different. The big change comes with Haywire. She has the Eviolite now. This sounds like a strange choice because this isn't exactly known for being the tank of the team, but hear me out. Flame Charge is our only fire type move. I am counting on Haywire to take out the Pokemon on Berg's team that I am the most afraid of. I think for that reason alone, it warrants it. Now, for those of you who are very hawk-eyed, very attentive to detail, or just very crafty, you might have noticed that there's some slight inconsistencies with my experience points, even though I'm the same levels and have the same moves. The reason for that is that, I'll be honest with you, I fought Berg once already, and I lost. It was a very lengthy loss, so I didn't want to show it to you as the attempt. After the fight, I will be sure to show you the highlights of it, but I kind of didn't want to have both fights in one because it would cause things to go on for a very, very long time. And I kind of didn't want things dragging a bit though, but I'm always a believer in showing the losses, so we'll be sure to see that. The reason why this would make my experience points different is because in the fight that I lost, I grew some levels and just for personal challenge, I didn't want it to be easier the second time. I wanted to just do it. As such, I chose to reset and not keep the levels. But back on topic, this is a beautiful looking area. Looks a bit like stained glass, but I don't think we'd be standing on it if that were the case. Kind of a bit of Bob Ross inspiration with the black background. I remember as a kid I always wondered where Bob Ross was, if he's in an area that's well lit, but there's nothing that exists there. But no, I'm getting sidetracked. You're about, as, uh, uh, you're about as removed from Bob Ross as you could possibly be with your demeanor. Thanks again for your help! My bug Pokémon are scurrying with excitement to get, get about getting to battle you! Let's get straight to it! Cutting straight to the chase, I like the way you act, Berg! I also like that your name is just a straight up in your face pun. Nothing really all that roundabout about it. Just like the straight up in the face wordplay that you've given us. And is that a butterfly on your crotch? I'm gonna hope that that's not indicative of any sort of fetish you might have for bugs. He's gonna open with Whirlipede, level 21, bug poison type, swarm for its ability. So watch out for its bug type move, not moves, when it is below one third of its HP. It has the moves Screech, Pursuit, Poison Tail, and Struggle Bug. I've opened with Terabyte because this is where I think it's going to have the easiest time. We're gonna open with Sand Doom, hopefully wearing down his tank. I like that, I like that very much, getting that hit on the first turn. And you're gonna take a little bit of damage over time. Let's see how Struggle Bug does. Not bad at all. Another reason why Terabyte's a good lead is not having to worry about the minus special attack from Struggle Bug. Snick, my switch has turned on. Again, best not thought about the subtext. We'll leave, oh no, 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 no. We're not doing this. This is not how we're starting up. Uh, let's use, let's use a healing item. I'm not gonna use my super potions for anything else and it's about the perfect amount of HP that I can heal at this point anyway, so go for it. I just want Sandile to handle this Whirlipede because I want Haywire and um, Ottawa to be in the best shape they can possibly be for what's coming up because I'm going to be real with you, I think Berg is tough, especially if you're not specifically prepared for him. I've recommended this Whirlipede already as one of the best Pokemon so far and this is not what I would call a super solid team for taking him apart. That's why I'm trying to play it safe with this first Pokemon because I don't have a lot of confidence for what's coming up. You... Maybe, 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 maybe is just a baby that needs to be loved until he says yes. That is so sickening, I can't believe I just said that. I think I heard that on a TV show when I was a kid, and I just always said that when I was trying to convince my parents to let me do something I knew that they would never allow me to do. It didn't work. <laughs> Come on. Let's think about this a little bit. Sand Tomb. So I have same type attack bonus with both of you. That's... That's, 
gonna be... Yeah, normal damage both ways. Let's go for the fight. Hope that it does just barely enough to knock you out. You're gonna heal. You're gonna heal. No question. Oh, wait. What? Uh. Oh, don't fake me out like that. Come on. I know that it's an item, but still. If it doesn't mean anything, don't make me think that there was hope right there. Come on. That was... And then you... Hey. I'm doing a real good job removing his tank. I'll heal one final time. I don't want to overheal right here. I just want to... I just want to feel like Sandile accomplished something slash anything in this battle, and he definitely would have gone down right there. It would have been exactly enough to beat him, so... I'm glad that I didn't go, oh, we took 18 damage before. I'll probably be fine. Feel good about that. Just trying to lay down that sand tomb damage. It'll stay for two to five turns at random. Now I'm afraid to attack you because you're definitely going to heal if I hit you again. Because that sand tomb doesn't do crap for damage. I said I wouldn't heal again. I'm going to stick by my word. I've used three healing items. This doesn't really mean much of anything that I got the quick claw right there. You flinched, but you're going to barely survive, and then he's going to heal. Oh joy, I get faked out again. Yep. <laughs> this is a stalemate for the ages, isn't it? <laughs> okay, at least you took a bite out of his HP. Oh, dup, 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 dup. I should believe in you more, Ter- <laughs> Cool. <laughs> if the rest of the fight can just go like that, I'll be very happy. What next? What next? What next? Almost a level up. Lee Vanny! This is what I was terrified of. Level 23! Bug Grass type. Swarm for its ability. Protect, String Shot, Razor Leaf, and Struggle Bug. If you are not careful, this thing can sweep through your entire team. Odds are you have at least one move that's going to be very effective on it. But if you don't, you're going to have a rough time. You're going to resist the Sand Tomb. I'm going to go for the Bite. Hope I get lucky. No! Not at all! But well, that's fine. Terabyte did its job. That's all I was hoping for out of it. Now it falls to Haywire, and it's going to be... I'm pretty sure that if you critical me with Razor Leaf at any time, I'm screwed. Do I go for the Thunder Wave is the thing? I think so. If Haywire falls, I want there to be at least a good fighting chance that Ottawa could finish the job. And if it's not paralyzed, I don't think there's any hope of that. He can't heal anymore. Thank goodness. Let's do it. I outspeed you normally, so that's good. I didn't need the plus speed from the flame charge. That was mainly what I was worried about. String shot. Well, at least I'll still outspeed you <laughs> here on out. <laughs> can't say I saw that coming, but I guess it's all just as well that I did that. <laughs> Quad effectiveness. Will it be enough? Of course it's not, so I gotta worry for at least another turn. String shot again. Okay, one, what are you doing? And two, that's really gross that you shoot that out of your crotch. I'm just saying. Critical hit that I didn't need, because of course, and with plus one speed net gain, level 26. His last Pokemon, Dwebble. It's so cute, but it's kind of funny hearing this epic music backing up this thing coming out into the field. It's level 21, Bug Rock type, Shell Armor for its ability. Thank God it's not sturdy. Sand Attack, Faint Attack, Smackdown, and Struggle Bug. Let's do this. You have a low special defense. I'm pretty sure Shockwave is gonna hit harder than our Spark, even if it has higher base power coming out of us. I don't care. Smackdown. <laughs> we got this in the bag. Ottawa didn't even have to do any fighting. I was thinking that um, Haywire was going to get way more banged up against um, against Levani. Ottawa would have to finish the job, and then Dwebble, once it was uh, dropped, uh, it can handle the job no problem. Is it over? Has my muse abandoned me? If your muse is Levani, I am so sorry that I caused it to leave you. Ah, I lost. Whatever, losing to you doesn't bug me because you are amazingly strong. 
This is the gym badge. You beat me, so it's yours. I had no right to do that so easily. At all. Wow. It's the insect badge! It's insectable! I mean, incredible! If you have three badges, Pokemon up to level 40 will obey you, including traded Pokemon! Because I'm a generous guy, I'll also give you this. TM76 Struggle Bug! You know what it does, and I'm willing to bet that none of our Pokemon can learn it, because why would they be able to? We've had horrible luck with our TM compatibility. Struggle Bug also lowers the special attack of the target that was damaged! I'm the best guy to tell you, it's the little things that count. I like how philosophical you're all being. It's nice to appreciate the little things in life. Let's test this theory. I'm not interested in learning this whatsoever because it's pretty weak. But no, no, we're not able to learn it. Okay. Before anything else, we're gonna put the experience share back on Sandile so I have no chance to forget, and we'll see that loss. There it is, critical hit. Who's next? Oh boy, what do I do here? I could switch in for Ottawa, not really having to worry about any of its moves being that strong against it, taking on the type effectiveness and hitting it with a water move, but I have my plus one speed and I kind of want to hang on to that. The dilemmas. I, I seem to be having a lot of dilemmas right here. I got to show a little bit more self-commitment. Let's just stay in, go for the shockwave. You have low special defense. I'm going to hope that this is enough. Modest nature. No. Okay, we should definitely be able to take you out right here. And I'm gonna hope that that plus one speed was enough. Because I've been worried about this one. Lee Vanny. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. No! Please miss or something. Razor Leaf. Saw that coming. This is bad. This is bad, this is bad, that's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Ottawa needs to take this. <laughs> I don't think you have a second Hyper Potion. Fury Cutter wouldn't do enough on turn one, and I want to end this as soon as possible. Razor Shell is 80, 75 power, 95 accurate, Water Pulse is 60. I feel like I'm doing a challenge run because I want to check my stats. I have more special attack than attack. Only by one point. Razor Shell will hit harder. Razor Leaf, come on. Take it. 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 Oh, baby! Please! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Please tell me we were speed tight or something. Oh, you had a Hyper Potion anyway. We're going to lose this, aren't we? I don't know. Critical something, lower defense. It's not gonna matter. If I heal, you're just gonna get me down to this level of HP again, and then you'll finish me off with the next attack anyway. I don't wanna just PP stall you. We're gonna go for it. There's that Razor Leaf. Razor Leaf can miss. Go, Lilipath! <laughs> That'll be enough, right? No. No, it wasn't. I was worried about this fight for good reason. I guess I had my penance for having such an easy time against Lenora, because I think I had every right to lose the Lenora battle. We're good. Wow, we made it out of that battle a lot easier than I thought we would. So, that's that. I'm going to miss this gym. It's kind of funny. Ah! Ah, the cross transcriber is ringing. Hey there, where are you now? Could you do me a favor? Let's have a Pokemon battle. Iris trained me, and I've become a little stronger. I should be able to protect my own Pokemon now. I just realized, Bianca, you have one enormously tall forehead. Let's meet at the gate to Route 4. Okay, see you later. I would have hung up on me too, given that context. Well, with another Gym Badge 1, I think we're going to end things off here. Next time on Pokemon Black and White, we head north to Route 4, continuing on with our travels. No more Castelia. See you guys then.